Today in Crazy Performance Repair, we have an emergency update broadcast, whatever the heck you want to call it, related to the newer AFM engines, the 2014 to 2017, essentially, the direct injection models, basically. I have been selling a VLOM plug for those units, and one of the customers brought up something to my attention. And it's very, very important that I get this information out there. So I'll be posting this not only on YouTube, but on my website. I'm going to post it as much as I can, try and get the information out there. I may even email some of my clients because this is a pretty important detail. If you have purchased my Vlon plug and put it in one of these newer models, feel free to message me. I will work something out for you if you want. Um, of course, I do have a disclaimer on it saying at your own risk when you purchase it. But that all aside, basically there is an update for the unit. Now this is an old Vlom, so it's completely different looking. I don't have a new one on hand. And in fact, this one is a gutted one, so there's nothing really there. But it will work for me to explain the situation. I have pictures from the client that had sent me uh, the actual situation at hand here. Basically, what had happened is he went to put his Vlom plug in and it seemed like it was too tight. He said, can I cut a slot in it? And I'm like, no, 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 don't put a slot in it. And I've had this before. What happens maybe one in every two or 300 of these units, the, the hole that's drilled in here where that step down is, it's like GM didn't quite drill it far enough. And so the Vlon plug won't go in far enough. It's pretty rare, but it does happen. So I was assuming that's what he had. Luckily, I think he just didn't press it in hard enough or, or try and press it in. He thought it was supposed to just fall into place. And he contacted me. Well, in the meantime, you know, I explained the situation, you know, send me pictures. I want to see it because I was going to point out that it was stepped incorrectly. It wasn't the case. In the meantime, when he went to send me pictures, he decided to test the VLOM for any kind of leaks. So he pressurized the main oil port on it, which is on the other side on those units. And it also has a sensor coming out the end of it on those units. But besides the point, he pressurized that port. And he noticed way back on cylinder 7, and I'll show some pictures here off on the one side. He noticed way back on cylinder 7 that oil and, and air was spraying out of. He said, there's only one leak. It's way back in the corner. Did you know about this? Perhaps it's for oiling the cam follower for the direct injection fuel pump. And so he sent the pictures, he showed the little port, he showed everything. It wasn't actually a gasket, it's literally a small port. I'll show you the image here and zoom in on it. And you can see there's a small drilled hole in this unit. I do not know the size yet, I'm making this video before he replied to my message, but I requested that he takes and finds a drill bit that fits that hole. Because I want to know how large that hole is. But basically that hole is to, act, er, is to lubricate that part that drives the direct injection pump. So if you have put one of these Vlon plugs in, I'm here to inform you of the bad news that you're not getting as much oil as you should on that follower for the direct injection pump. Most likely no harm has been done. It's, it's pretty much guaranteed that it's getting enough oil anyway because you have the lifters nearby that area riding on the cam and there's oil sloshing across that cam, plus you have the bearing journal on there oozing out next to that area, and that's going to be slapping oil around. It's probably getting plenty of oil, especially with how good the oil quality is in today's oiling market or whatever you want to call it. But basically, you're not getting as much oil as it was intended to get. So what is the solution here? We still want to do a Vlam mod, but we don't want to lose oil pressure or oil feeding to that. Now, typically there's a bunch of solenoids up here. And like I said, this is kind of flip-flopped. But either way, you put the blonde plug in and it stops feeding to this passage right here, which is what goes to all the solenoids. Um, it's very similar to this. It's just backwards. So this port would be over here. And then of course you have a direct injection pump thing going on over here. But anyway, pretend this is the direct injection pump hole and this hole is over there. So. It's feeding oil in through here, and it comes all the way over to that little port that I just showed you the picture of, and it's squirting at the follower for the direct injection pump. Now, we want the oil to get to that. We don't want the oil to feed to the solenoids. 
or feed to the oil towers, which is what activates the lifter. Go ahead and see my Y Blom mod video in the corner if you have not seen that yet. But basically, um, we, we want it to oil that, but we don't want it to feed those towers. And the only way to prevent that is you're going to have to test your Blom if you pull it off. So you're going to have to do the same thing he did. Pressurize it. Make sure that you don't have, well, it'd be over here. Pressurize it. Make sure you don't have oil or air squirting out anywhere else other than that little port. If you do have a squirting out somewhere else, the Vlom is a problem. It is a failed Vlom, and it's the source of your lifter failure in the first place. Um, if you don't, you may still have a failed Vlom, but it's failed in a different way. So there's two ways these things can fail. They can fail where the passages that the oil tower is hooked up to don't bleed off the pressure that back feeds up the oil tower and into the Vlom area. It's supposed to bleed off that pressure, and that could be plugged. That's why I cut the gaskets when I do the Vlom modification. Now, if, if that's not plugged and it's getting fed oil from the solenoid having a leak, like it's bleeding by through this passage, that's the one I just told you how to test. That one's the, the one of the failures, but the more common one is it getting plugged up, I suppose. Now, neither one of them are very common. Typically, the Vloms are fine, and the Vlom mod is more of an insurance policy or to allow you to drive to a tuner. So, if you test the Vlom and it tests okay as far as pressurizing the main oil passage, you could probably go without that Vlom plug but you need a tune before you dare start this thing, and I still want you to cut the gaskets. So cut the gaskets, do the tune, don't worry about a Vlom plug. Um, and, and if you do want to drive it, you're going to have to modify the Vlom plug. You're going to have to drill a pinhole that is identical to the size in that little passage. That way, if the Vlom is functioning and that it's not bleeding oil off, it'll still allow the oil to get to that to lubricate that cam follower, if you will. So a couple of different things here, a couple of different scenarios. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the drill bit size either up on the screen here if I have it before I edit the video or down in the description below once I know that drill hole size. And you're gonna to have to drill it in the side of the Vlom plug and you know match that size and then pound the Vlom plug in so you make sure it lines up with that little port that comes in through the side of the unit. This one actually has a Vlom plug in it. I must have been preparing this one. Yeah, I was preparing this one for one of my selling already modified Vloms on the older models. But uh, your, your goal here is to restrict this passage. That way, if you were to drive it and for some reason a wire shorted out or maybe the uh, system was still active, you're just trying to get to a tuner and it activates, it's not going to have enough oil flow to pressurize those oil towers because you cut the gaskets and it's just gonna bleed all that excess oil out. You will temporarily, which it's only a split second because the computer realizes it pretty much instantly, you will temporarily not lube that cam follower, but it's only, like I said, a split second. Then as soon as the solenoids go back off again because they're like, hey, something's wrong, then it'll start oiling it again. So it probably wouldn't even be noticed if you had a, maybe if you had a high speed camera on it, you might see the oil is squirting out and then it just has one little air gap before the oil even, or that air gap even gets to the bottom where it's squirting the follower, it already have another stream coming right behind it. That's how fast it would be. So just wanted to give this update. I wanted to make sure everybody's aware of the scenario. I learned something from you. I'm not gonna give your name because I don't know if you want me to. Um, thank you for your information because I don't actually do lifter release tricks on the newer models. I have yet to have one in. Full disclosure, I have done many deletes. I've done many cam damages. I have not done a lifter release trick on the newer engines. The newer engines just don't fail the same way as the older ones very often. I do have people order the product and they say they've had success with it. I personally have not seen it yet. I still have yet to have one come in with that particular scenario. Most of the ones that are 2014 direct injection newer that I have been seeing have either had the cam lobes damaged or had a bent push rod. That's pretty much all that I've been getting. And it's because of the new pump design that they have. 
the variable vane pump that's in the oiling system of these things is a better design for working with the AFM system. Long term though, it's gonna be a less reliable pump. I do have a generation four, so the LS based, the older models video coming out here really soon. And that video is explaining the entirety of the oiling systems. It's a very good video. The premium members on my website already have access to this video, but you guys will be getting it here very shortly. So stay tuned, like, share, subscribe. Um, I'm open to willing, I'm, I'm willing and open to admit my faults. And I definitely should have no, noticed that little port on the other side. But again, I don't do the VOM mods on them yet. So we will see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching and thanks for seeing what I discovered and learning that I can learn from you. So we will see you on the next one. Thank you for watching.